So uh, Draco, we are going to introduce the, 20, the 25 key and 100 key uh, management switch. Mm -hmm. The name is SN2010 or yeah, 2010. 2010. 2010. Yeah. Okay, this is a this is a very high uh, very high end and high good performance switch. If uh, you remember, we QNAP, we have a QSW switch. Mm -hmm. It's only 10 gigabit internet and mm -hmm. no management. So Draco will introduce this one is for business use okay. and very high performance. Okay, so let's uh, Draco. Draco. Yeah, yeah. Sure. This again. Okay. So in this slide, uh, we can see the the basic physical uh, IOs and our uh, basic details about the switch. And our switch is half width, so the benefits you can get is that you can use a 1U height and you can have fully redundant you, if you play two of our 2010 SN2010 switch and so you, you don't have to waste another slot and waste more port if you, you use like uh, 20, uh, 48 ports of the switch but you, you need to, at least two to do the HA so this is what it is amazing and another thing is that you can get a lot of port count in this kind of compact design. We provide 18 SFP and SFP28 uh, ports and we have four QSFP28 ports that can support up to 100 gig. And this is very, uh, very flexible for any users that if you, you only need two 100 gig or 40 gig port uplink and you have uh, two port left and so you in this way you can configure each 100 gig port the split, split into four 25 gig so that's in this way you can have more port count you ha can have more device you can connect it to and uh, so in total we can split up to uh, 34 25 gig if you want to use full four uh, 100 port 100 gig port into 25 gig yeah. and we also provide a uh, uh, bidirectional uh, non-blocking bandwidth up to uh, 100 uh, 1.7 terabit per second that is uh, very uh, uh, outstanding performance that uh, in the market because I, I have known that uh, the switch upon the market in the market that they have certain limitation about the non-blocking uh, bandwidth so we pro provide full non-blocking bandwidth upon the switch and we also provide a redundant power so in this compact design you can have two power supply in the back and you can have uh, fully redundant you don't have to w uh, worry about the uptime or the downtime and the per performance we guarantee that you can have zero packet loss so we have a lot of features that based on the ASIC we designed for the switch uh, our ASIC is also called a spectrum so what we designed is that we guarantee the performance of the uh, each port or each service is zero packet loss and we guarantee that you can get the very very low latency from port to port so uh, currently we, we have measured that the port to port latency is around uh, 300 millisecond that is lowest in the market uh, many times above uh, many not lower than other competition so this is what we are showing and we're outstanding the, the switch and um, for the network OS, we uh, we can have Onyx and Cumulus, and some of, if they, there is any other like uh, network OS in the future you want to install based on Oni, you can also install it in the future. It's pretty easy to transfer back and forth between each OS be, uh, based on your favor. So this is uh, some details about the switch. And now in this slide, I. I want to introduce that uh, maybe in the consumers uh, or the enterprise market that we're not very common to see but our product is uh, providing NICS cables switch and uh, routers and the gateway in the market so we we provide an end-to-end -end solution for customer to get the best uh, performance or the, the maximum bandwidth you can get in your each deployment so in the slide we can see we can uh, we have connect x for the adapter and link x is basically for our uh, cables Cable. mm -hmm. and so we have a DAC a corporate deck and we can also provide a fiber and a transceiver 
and the middle we have provide uh, switches for infinite band and Ethernet. Uh, for infinite band we can call it quantum, and for Ethernet we call it spectrum. Okay. Now I want to go uh, a little bit deeper into to the storage. What is different from the regular like uh, storage you can see or currently uh, deploy in the environment? Uh, usually the storage we you have deployed is based on the uh, fabric channel as for the SAN network and in this deployment it, it costs very much so it is not very affordable for uh, a lot of people because they need a lot of budget it is not compatible with Ethernet or any other protocol so you have you, you need to have certain NIC certain cable and certain switch and locally it is not as by any other uh, devices if you install an uh, Ethernet or you can win. So only 20% uh, of the customer they can have the ability to deploy the, the fabric channel uh, sorry cluster but for the rest of the, the user they're uh, more like using Ethernet because it's more affordable and more common to use so you can your PC is using Ethernet so you are uh, home is based on Ethernet to deploy, so you can get more easily and more uh, uh, convenient in your in your in your hand. And the data uh, transferring the Ethernet, they, they don't limit to like a block or any any other uh, limitation. You can have your files, uh, you can have any like backup, you can have clouds, and you have application VMs running on that. So it is more user friendly to deploy. So that's why the 80% is now becoming the mainstream because Ethernet is very common in the future and the speed and the, the performance is uh, going up and going high. So that's why we, we provide a certain uh, technology that can fulfill any requirement in the future. So in the changes we can see that from the old fabric channel uh, based on the vendors development upon each uh, component or each product uh, the speed of the network is not really going fast enough uh, in contrary you can see that the speed of the Ethernet is going really fast like until last year in the end of last year 200 gig is already available in the market and so 400 gig will be uh, available in within two years. Okay. So the speed is going really fast just due, due to the following that the social media the content, uh, the daily photograph, the mes uh, message, or the video you take uh, is going offline. So there's a lot of data flows going in the network. Yeah. So you have to make sure that your bandwidth is, is enough to support the, this kind of data flow go between each server and the other thing is that the hyper coverage is pretty uh, uh, become more and more uh, easy to see in the past few years a lot of uh, vendors have developed uh, a very compact chassis that can you can get a computer storage node in the network within uh, a chassis and so in this way the SAN network cannot really uh, implement into such scenario because your storage node and your compute node basically your storage is based on the old fabric uh, fiber traffic uh, fiber channel but your compute node is running the ethernet so in in the future ethernet will overcome the fabric channel because it's more easy to con connect and combine all three together and for the cloud that uh, it's more easy to de uh, deploy in the Ethernet than the fabric channel because you can have more flexible topology and have more uh, components to choose or the uh, product to choose and for the big data they also require a very high bandwidth to consume the data so that, that's why the, the storage uh, world is now changing into the Ethernet and we can also see it in, in the recent uh, market that a lot of customer and a lot of vendor that are already choosing the Ethernet fabric for the storage than the fabric channel.
So for the Ethernet fabric, uh, storage fabric, that you can get first, you don't have to limit what is uh, transferring into the fabric. So you can have blocks, you can have files, you can have objects. And the other thing is that the, the bandwidth is going really fast and the performance is really outstanding. You can have very low latency and zero packet loss is a fabric channel guarantee. And you can also get a very simple management that you can, you don't have to like uh, use a certain method to maintain the network because for the Ethernet, there, we can provide a very, very user-friendly tool. It's called Neo. Where I will go into it in a few other slides. So in this way, you can get more of what you want. And for the MVMV over fabric, that is what uh, Ethernet is going really uh, hot recently because you can have your MVMV device uh, running in the network as you can build it like you can access locally in a very outstanding performance and you can uh, see the very difference between the old uh, storage fabric from migrating to the Ethernet storage fabric. And the, the slide I'm showing now is the, the left side is uh, transitional fabric channel uh, storage deployment. You will need uh, uh, modular switch or a uh, very complex and very expensive uh, rack and in this way you can only scale up you can only buy more and uh, like a more expensive more capability uh, capacity uh, chassis or rack to fulfill your need but in the recent data center topology that it's already migrate to uh, leave and spine. What is uh, more uh, convenient for user to like uh, expand in the future? So you, you don't have to buy a lot of expensive equipments for like uh, you predict what you might use in the next three to five years. So you can just simply see what you need now and you buy the leave and spine switch. But if you need more, you just buy another, another switch and, and install in the other nodes or the service you need. So it is very simple to expand and you don't have to worry about uh, budget or the, the cost it will, it will make. So this is why uh, the Ethernet fabric is uh, really convenient for user. Okay. And this slide is showing that Recently, the, the, the cluster is moving uh, from 10, 40 to uh, 25 and 100. And we can simplify the deployment of the cluster, the topology of the cluster, make it more easy to access and make it uh, less expensive. You can barely like uh, spend uh, half, um, half price to fulfill what you need. And the speed is also uh, guarantee that future proof. So the future network is based on a 25 gig and 100 gig in the uh, following years. So in this way, you can have more flexible deployment and changes in the future that you can easily deploy. And the slide I'm showing now is what is so significantly different uh, our switch from the other vendor. Uh, our switch, uh, you can see the left up uh, graph lead. Mm -hmm. Our switch provide the fairness and QoS uh, equally each every port. So every port, you, when, you, when the traffic come in, we guarantee that every port you can get equally uh, resource and uh, but buffers. So you don't have to worry about a certain port you, you, you might install for certain uh, application or certain usage you don't worry you don't need to worry about that we you can just plug and play into any port out on another switch so this is why it's different and then the middle you can see that we guarantee the lowest latency upon the market and our switch we guarantee that you can get the lowest latency upon for each packet size and then this is 
really different from the market that uh, the, the latency usually going up when the package size is going up. So you can see that the, we're going flat line upon each every package size. And the right hand, you can see we can provide more uh, robust congestion management. So the microbus, uh, microbus come inside the port, we can provide uh, much capability to absorb it so you don't uh, have to worry about the congestion or the uh, out of buffer or something like that. That we can absorb uh, at least like uh, eight times than other other vendors in the packet size. And the graph uh, in the lower, you can yeah. see that we can yeah we can, can provide. Yeah. Move to middle. Okay. Yeah, move this to the middle. Yeah. Just to show it. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, we we also support like many to one or many to many uh, traffic flow that we guarantee that you can get what you need and the best performance you can get. And uh, in the lower right side, you can see that uh, because a, a network you don't just connect to one switch. Yeah. And the more switch you connect it to, the more latency you will add on to your performance. Yeah. But our NIC and our switch will provide the lowest latency. So when you get more hot upon the transfer flow, you can see the difference that we we are much much better than other competition competition, okay. and it's more robust. So you can see that uh, at three three hops, that our spectrum is less than uh, my one microsecond mm -hmm. latency added, but the other switch you might you might get at least larger than ten microsecond. So this is the very different from the from the other vendor you can get it from the market. Okay, so let me bring this back down here. Yes, all right. Okay, now nowadays that the in the state the network most of the uh, most of the, the the maintainers that they want fully visual build, uh, visibility in the network. Okay. So you can use um, SMP protocol or our NIC provide uh, our switch provide uh, native uh, telemetry. Okay. The what's the difference is that you do you, if you use SMP you have to push and pull from the packet you get and calculate and divide it by the period you can you, you want to uh, to graph the picture on the left. So the Accuracy is uh, not that good because it's not really uh, uh, very go going to very uh, high resolution upon the timeline. But our switch, we could we provide um, the telemetry and the hardware ASIC itself, and we can uh, monitor the the traffic flow uh, in nanosecond. So we can provide more accurate and more precise uh, behaviors or what is going on in the network for the maintainers who want to develop it and uh, go it. So this is the difference. So you can see on, on our side that the, the line is really bumpy because we, we provide a narrow second uh, accuracy. That's uh, our uh, telemetry feature and this one I want to show uh, the software we provide for the customer we provide the software called Neo this uh, orchestration software like you monitor and mon manage uh, your network it is pretty simple you just uh, run Neo on one machine or one VM and open it up you can get this kind uh, the, the GUI you can see on the screen this is what we provide, we provide a method to let you very easily monitor and see what is going on in the cluster in the network. You can our Neo will draw you a topology of your network that currently the Neo is running, and you can also monitor the, the data and monitor a lot of things that's going on in the network. And you can also 
see what is installed in the server and you can if there's our uh, NIC or uh, our cable you can also see the details what is the NIC you're using and what is the firmware and what's the NIC or what's the EEPROM data within the transceiver or in the, the cables and you can also see what is the uh, OS version that you're running on the switch and when you go want to go to like um, upgrade it you can very easily do it in the Neo GUI that you can just uh, click and apply and everything will go smooth and you don't have to worry about anything okay <coughs> so Neo is your management tool right Yes. Yeah, yes. because in the uh, in the past years, if you want to use a management switch, we yeah. need to key in the command line, and it's really difficult and uh, not easy to understand. Yeah. So, if we are using the Neo, you can see there are many uh, many photos and many uh, icons. So you can just um, click some icons, and then you can manage your switch. Right. So I think yeah. it's very convenient oh, than yes. before. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's very user friendly. You don't have to worry about what command line you want to insert and look for the book or look it online. To yeah, see so if it's every correct. time I forget a command line, like every, every time I forget a command, and yeah. sometimes I think it, uh, it's not easy to for new users. But if we have the Neo, we can easy to manage the switch. Yeah. So this will be also easy for new users, like yeah, for also, yeah. users yes. also. Yeah. Uh, although this, although this, um, this switch is designed for business, but I think this one is good for uh, not new use, but also the IT use. Yes. So you, there's because I, I we we know a lot of people that are afraid of uh, using the command line because it is uh, words, a uh, digit on the screen, and you don't know what is going on and what is really happening if you do it right or yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, just missing something that never is feeling right or wrong. You don't you don't know but in neo that we do it for you like when you just see uh what is existing happening on in, in on the network so okay. you can see traffic you can see the flow you can see uh which time the, the bandwidth is consuming a lot and which time it's not so you can just monitor very easily and apply a, a lot of uh, functions very easily and one more thing is that the, the, the like the vm migration the we can do it in Neo. This, like, uh, if you run in the VM on some certain node, and when you want to migrate in, on to another node, but connect to the another switch or another port or another server, what Neo can do is that you just uh, drop, uh, click and drop the the VM you wish to uh, move on to and the configuration between that we will do it for you so you don't have to reset up uh, configure it again and the, uh, also in the switch uh, we will tell the switch that it is going to move migrate to another port so we can pass on the configuration uh, to another one so it's very easy for you to, to it use it very convenient yes it's very convenient and saves a lot of time you don't need to reset every setting and do the configuration again and again Yes. So the Neo will do it for you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So in this slide, it is uh, a, a glimpse of what Neo looks like. That and, uh, in the graph, we can we show that two machines connected together. So you can see the the the, the NIC firmware and a lot of information of the cables, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of tabs and a lot of pages for user to go into deeper. If you want to see what is happening in the network, so we uh, will continue to monitor for every user. Okay. So, um, with Neo in our uh, Ethernet storage fabric switch, the SN twenty ten, you can have zero touch network provisioning and more user friendly. You can enhance your like network security and you can get a lot of better performance and low, lowest latency upon the market this is very uh, very good for storage cluster or storage use 